I couldn't help myself and I'm back again with some jelly gel layered nail art. I've been obsessed with the look lately. If you can't tell, I've been loving doing it. And this one is actually a recreate. So Abe the Nail Babe over on Instagram, I'll leave the link for his page down below in the description. You should definitely check him out. But as soon as I saw him do this look, there was something about it. I just thought it was so gorgeous. So I had to give it a try. Hopefully I do it justice. Obviously it's not as good as his, but hopefully it is good enough because I had so much fun doing this look. So stick around, let's hang out and do some nail art together. Whenever I do a gel polish manicure, I always start with a layer of gel base first. So I'm using my gel base from iGel Beauty. And I like to start with a layer of gel base because not only does it give something tacky for my gel polish to adhere to, so it doesn't peel off, it also helps my gel polish color apply a little more smoothly and evenly. So I always like to do that. So I just start with a thin, even layer of gel base. I wanna make sure that I'm not getting any gel on my skin. So I'm being really careful, really slow. I don't start at my cuticle area I start around the midpoint of my nail brush down towards my free edge and then I'll work my way up to the cuticle area I always do my thumb separately so I do my thumb I flash cure that 10-15 seconds and then I do the rest of my nails and then I will cure that for 30 seconds I spared you the rest of my nails and just showed you my thumb so now we're going to get into the jelly gel so this is from iGel Beauty as well this is rosé red and it is such a beautiful jelly wine red color it's got like a pink tone to it wait till you see it. it is just so gorgeous the color is a little bit vampy and i am so here for it it's not really summertime but i don't even care just because i think the jelly quality makes it more summertime than if it were just like a deep red color so don't be surprised if you see me doing more jelly manis over the summer because I've just been really loving them lately. I just think they're perfect for summertime and iGel Beauty, they have such a wide variety of colors and I have, I'm not sure if I have all of them, but if I don't, I have almost all of them and I'm glad I do. I haven't used them for a long time, but I'm glad I have them because now they're being put to use. So I'm just doing my thumb separately. I want to make sure that I have a thin, even layer of that polish on my nail that everything's all smooth, which it does self-level. I just want to make sure I don't have any dust particles or anything like that in there because my station can get a little messy. And then once I'm done, I'm going to cure that for 30 seconds. And then I'm going to be using LB01, which is chalk white. This is from the new LB gel collection. There's gels and matching powders for this collection. But if you haven't tried the gels yet, they are so so good they're so opaque and this is actually what i'm going to use for my nail art and it works so well so i'm just applying a little bit of that to my resin palette so i can easily get to the gels with my brush the brush i'm going to be using is this dual ended brush so the one end is a square gel brush and the other end is a actually 3D Flower Kalinske brush, but it's going to be perfect for this art because I want something, I don't want a liner, I want something thicker than that, but I want a little shape to it. So I'm just dipping that into the white gel and I'm just kind of dispersing it because I don't want too much gel. And it's going to be a different type of flower than my dot flower. So I'm going to just draw kind of like square-ish petals. I will work to make them a little more pointy at the end, but I don't want them to be like the normal dot flowers that I do. I want them to look a little more flatter, a little more wider. And it's kind of a trust the process because at first I'm like, eh, I'm not sure if I like it, but I think it kind of works out. I'm just trying to figure out like where I want to do the petals. So you see me stare at it for a little bit because I'm not sure whether I should add more or just leave it as it is. But I do decide that I don't want to overwhelm the nail and make it too much. So I just leave it as it is and then I cure it for 30 seconds. Once I've got that cured for 30 seconds, I'm going to go ahead and apply another layer of that jelly gel on top. So I'm going to sandwich in that nail art. I really love the way the deeper red jelly looks on top of the white gel polish because it tones down like the starkness of the white polish because chalk white is a bright white color and it kind of gives like the jelly red like a more pinkish tone as well. So I just think they pair really well together. So I'm just making sure I've got everything evenly coated and then once I'm done with that, I'm gonna cure my nail for a full 30 seconds. So make sure in between layers, you're not removing the tacky layer. You're just applying the gel polish on top of that. So it does need that tacky layer. 
So once my jelly gel is cured, I'm gonna go ahead and do my second layer of that art. So I'm taking my chalk white and my nail brush. This is gonna be a little bit different to my hearts, which I'll leave the link for that video up above in the cards if you haven't checked that out. For my hearts, I did them staggered in between layers. But for this one, I want them on top, but I don't wanna cover up what I did. So I do it just a little off center and I make the flower petals a little bit shorter so you can still see what I did in the first layer. But I wanna add on top of that and create a little more dimension. So here's where I'm kinda of like, do I wanna do more? I decide I don't, I wanna leave it as is, but you know, you can do whatever you want. You can do more, you can do less. It's however you want it to look. But once I'm happy with that, I'm gonna cure that for 30 seconds. Once that's cured, I'm gonna go in with my final layer of jelly gel polish. Now I decided to just do make this my final layer, but you can certainly do more layers depending on how much dimension you wanna create. But I was happy with this look, so I'm gonna leave it at the two layers. And once I have everything evenly covered, I'm gonna go ahead and cure my nail for a full 30 seconds. And I'm doing my thumb end to end process just for the purposes of this video. So if I were doing this without a tutorial, normally what I would do was I would do my first layer of jelly gel polish on my thumb, flash cure that, do my first layer of jelly gel polish on the rest of my nails and then cure that for 30 seconds. And then I would go in with the nail art and do that on each finger. But because I wanted to show you one finger end to end first, that's kind of why I'm doing it this way. So you definitely don't have to do the, your thumb completely separately. You can do it all at the same time. Just make sure that you flash cure your thumb before you do your other fingers because when you're laying your hand flat in your lamp, your thumb kind of lays sideways. So you don't want that gel to run while your thumb is laying sideways. But anyway, I'm gonna let you finish watching me do my index finger from end to end. I do my other fingers off camera because it is a little bit repetitive, but I'll be back after that.
Once I have my final layer of jelly gel on my nails and fully cured, I'm gonna go ahead and top coat my nails. So I'm using my No Cleanse Gel Top Coat from iGel Beauty. So whenever I'm using gel top coat, I like to cap my free edge first before I do my nails. So that kind of prevents a ledge because if I do my nails and then cap my free edge, it can kind of cause gel to get on the surface of your nail, creating like a little bit of a ledge. So I like to do the free edge first. So I'm gonna make sure that I apply a thin, even layer of gel top coat to my nails and make sure everything's even. Once I'm done with that, it does level pretty nicely, but I will turn my hand upside down for about five seconds just to make sure everything is fully level before I cure it for a full 60 seconds. Invincible. As always, I'm going to finish off my mani by rehydrating my cuticles with my Scales of Mermaid cuticle oil. This is in the scent Crisp and Brisk, which is a beautiful apple scent. It kind of gives me like apple orchard vibes, and I love this scent so much. It's definitely one of my favorites. So that pretty much wraps up today's video. Something quick and easy, but I love the way this turned out. Abe is such nail inspo. Make sure you go and check out his page. It's not as good as his, but I am happy with the way this turned out. It actually kind of gives me like hibiscus flower vibes. So I'm kind of getting a little bit of tropical vibes from this Manny. I don't know. What do you think? Have you tried the jelly sandwich? How do you feel about it? And if you have any ideas for some nail art that I can do for my next set that I can sandwich in between jelly gels, what colors, what design, whatever it may be, let me know because I'm already starting to think about what I'm going to do for my next one. So I hope this video was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, I'd appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up. It lets me know to continue creating content like this. And it also helps YouTube recommend me to others, which helps grow my channel. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. I upload content every Monday and Thursday at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. As always, I appreciate you being here. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.